You know, racism is a complex issue in South Africa because you have, you know, it manifests itself in different forms, including um, in terms of xenophobia that has targeted black Africans. You know, South Africa has one of the largest economies in Africa. It's one of the more stable countries in Southern Africa. So you have a lot of migration. You have people from Zimbabwe who have fled a particularly repressive government. You have people from the Congo who are fleeing a civil war there. Then you have people who've traveled from many parts of Africa who are seeking a better life because they believe that South Africa's economy will sort of sustain work, will allow them to be entrepreneurs and so on. And many of the black um, migrants have been targeted in waves of racism and xenophobic violence in 2008 and 2010. It's an ongoing problem. There's also currently a very complicated discussion going on in South Africa about racism um, that is perpetrated by Indians. And remember, under apartheid, people were classified, you were either white, you were Indian, you were colored, or you were African. And so, you know, there is sort of a complex set of interactions around race, around class, around poverty, that sort of, I think, leads to some violence. Um, I would say though that the sort of the most serious forms of violence are not necessarily around racism, although racism does play a role in that, but they're gendered. South Africa has very high rates of violence against women, both in terms of domestic violence, in terms of sexual violence, and again, young black women bear the brunt of that, um, often because they live in the least safe areas, they have the least ability to negotiate safety or how sex happens, when it happens and so on. But South Africa is considered to be a particularly unsafe place for women to live in. I think it's part of a long history of institutional violence. It is part of sort of a toxic mix of patriarchy. I think L.B. Sachs, who was one of the first constitutional court judges, said that one of the few democratic institutions in apartheid was in fact patriarchy, that it sort of was a you know cut across race and class in South Africa. So it is a very patriarchal society. I think it's linked to issues of young particularly African men struggling to find their place in South Africa, you know, where they're unemployed, they're poor. Traditional ways of masculinity are linked to being a breadwinner, are linked to you being the head of your family and, you know, social um, traditions and customs are changing. You see a lot of African women playing important roles, playing leadership roles and so on. So I think that there's a toxic mix of sort of um, patriarchy, lack of good role models, um, history of violence stemming from colonial times, and I think all of that sort of come together in a very problematic way for women in South Africa.